a triangle ABC with vertices A minus 1 comma 0, B minus 2 comma 3 by 4, C minus 3 comma minus 7 by 6 has its orthocenter H. Then the orthocenter of the triangle BCH will be we have options we have to pick one of the options. Let us understand the problem again. We have been given a triangle ABC with vertices A minus 1 comma 0, A minus 1 comma 0, B minus 2 comma 3 by 4, B minus 2 comma 3 by 4, C minus 3 comma minus 7 by 6 as its orthocenter at H. Then we need to calculate what are the coordinates of the orthocenter of the triangle BCH. Now we have taken from the graph actually how the triangle looks like. This is actually the ABC triangle we have ABC whatever the coordinates they are given to us. Now what is orthocenter? Orthocenter is point of intersection of altitudes. So from A we have to draw an altitude to BC that is AX. Similarly from C you have to draw an altitude to AB and from B we have to draw an altitude to AC let us say that is BY. Now the point of intersection of AX and BY is the orthocenter H. So this point is orthocenter H. Now what we need to calculate? We need to calculate the orthocenter of triangle BCH. So our focus is on this particular triangle BCH. Again the same logic we will apply that we want to know the orthocenter of the triangle. Now when I want to calculate the orthocenter again I have to draw the altitudes from each vertex to the opposite side. So let us go. First we will take H. From H we will draw an perpendicular to BC. Now that will be nothing but the altitude whatever we have drawn earlier. Why? Because A and H are on the same line. They are collinear. So altitude from A to BC and altitude from H to BC will be the same line only. So we know that one altitude is AX for the triangle BCH. So we can write down that one altitude we know that is equals to AX. That is the first altitude. Let us see what is the second altitude. To find out the second altitude, let us try to draw perpendicular from C onto BH. Now this is point C and this is BH. We want to draw a perpendicular from C to BH. It is not possible with BH so we have to extend BH to so that we can drop a perpendicular from C onto that line. So when you then you observe that when you extend BH and you try to draw a perpendicular from C onto that, that line is actually the side of the triangle AC. Similarly, if you try to draw a perpendicular from B onto CH, then you will observe that the altitude is actually the side AB. So the remaining altitudes, whatever we got, they are one is AX, we have the other altitude, I can take it as AC and the other altitude is AB. Now AX, AC, AB, very clearly we can see that they will intersect at point A. So option is none of this and it is actually the point A with coordinates minus 1 comma 0. Let us understand again why AB and AC are, are the altitudes for this triangle BCH. Let me just spend a couple of minutes on that. We have the triangle BCH now. We want to draw altitudes from each vertex to the opposite side from H to BC perfectly fine and we know that that is nothing but the earlier altitude whatever we have drawn. Then from C we want to draw an altitude to BH. It is not possible for that I have to extend BH then I have to draw an altitude. At that time I realize that the altitude what I am drawing now 
to extension of BH is nothing but the side of the triangle AC. Similarly, AB is also another altitude. So, the altitudes of triangle BCH are AX, AC and AB. So, the point of intersection of altitudes is very clearly A. So, that is minus 1, 0.